Generally, corporate directors have a fiduciary duty of loyalty to act in the corporation's best interests. However, shareholders may ratify a breach of this duty, provided there is full disclosure of material facts. In the case of In Re Investors Bank Corp stockholder litigation, the Delaware Supreme Court considered the limits of the shareholder ratification defense when directors made self-interested equity awards. In 2015, the Board of Directors of Investors Bank Corp proposed an equity incentive plan under which stock awards and options would be given to Bank Corp executives and directors. The plan placed general parameters on the amount of each stock classification that could be allocated, the amount of stock that could be issued to a single employee, and the amount of stock in total that could be issued to non-employee directors. The proxy statement provided that within these parameters, the number, types, and amount of equity awards would be at the board's discretion and wouldn't be determined until after shareholder approval of the plan. The shareholders approved the plan. The board formed a compensation committee to determine the awards. The committee hired a consultant to review stock awards of similarly situated companies. Ultimately, under the plan, the non-employee directors received stock options and restricted shares valued at, on average, $2.1 million. The average award for non-employees at peer companies was around $175,000. Bancorp's chief executive officer and chief operating officer received stock options and restricted shares valued at over $16 million and $13 million, respectively. This compensation was seven and nine times more, respectively, than either had earned in the previous year, and their awards were over 1,700 and 2,500 percent higher, respectively, than similar compensation at peer companies. Bancorp shareholders sued, challenging the equity awards and alleging a breach of fiduciary duty. The Delaware Court of Chancery dismissed the complaint because the equity incentive plan contained general parameters. The shareholders appealed to the Delaware Supreme Court.